Hey everybody, thank you so so much for tuning in. Today's video is another Dollar Tree Christmas decor video and I'm going to be doing a few of these because there's so many styles out there. It's not just farmhouse, it's not just glam, it's modern farmhouse, classic, same thing goes for glam. Some people really like mirrored stuff, other people really like glittered stuff. So there's so many variations and I want to do as many as I can to give people ideas on what they can do with Dollar Tree stuff. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this video and stay Stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep! And please go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Let's go ahead and get started. For this first tutorial, I used this 18 inch wreath from Dollar Tree. They also have one in 15 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and fluff it up a bit. And personally, I feel like this wreath looks a little weak. So once I'm done fluffing it, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the Dollar Tree garland. And I'm just going to hot glue that directly onto the wreath itself. Now you can go ahead and add some of the Dollar Tree picks if you don't want to use the garland. But I felt like the garland covered up more and you didn't have to waste as much money as buying the individual picks. Once I got to the end, I went ahead and clipped down the rest of the garland with some side cutters and secured it down. And then I went ahead and did the same to the back. You don't have to do this, but I wanted this to look as fluffy as possible. So now I'm going to use different ornaments and these were all purchased at Dollar Tree and I did buy different sizes as well. And I'm going to go ahead and hot glue them onto the wreath in random patterns. Now you can go ahead and use wire. I did mention this in my snowman tutorial, but I feel like hot glue holds just as well. To cover the entire wreath, it took me about four packs of ornaments, but if you have old ornaments at home, this is a great way to recycle. I'm going to use this ornament from Dollar Tree. I think it is so cute. To add it to the wreath, I'm going to use hot glue, and I'm just going to place it on the legs, at least the legs that are going to be touching the wreath itself, and then I'm just going to press it directly on there. So it's good to see where you want it before you add the glue. Now to help them stand a little bit better, I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue onto that one ornament that I have and then press it down. I'm also gonna add another ornament from Dollar Tree. Now this comes in a two pack and I'm gonna be using these ornaments throughout all of the tutorials in this video. Feel free to add or take away whatever you'd like, and bam, you have a beautiful and affordable wreath. For my next tutorial, I'm going to use these plastic napkin holders from Dollar Tree and my E6000, and I'm just going to stack them up, making sure that I don't add too much glue so it doesn't seep out from the sides. And every time that I add one of the rings, I'm going to keep moving it around to make sure that it is straight and not going to topple over. So with this step, you want to make sure that you're taking your time because you want this to be perfectly leveled. And you don't want to ruin the stand itself if you don't plan on painting it. This is the same method that I used in my last video with my two-tiered stand. I'll leave that link in the description. I really love that tray and I think it matches really well. But for this one, I'm going to be using this from Dollar Tree and this cake plate. I think the colors go so well together and this is really easy to peel off, thank goodness. In the middle of the plate, there's a nice little indentation, so it's going to make it really easy to add this to it. To add it, I'm going to add some E6000 to the top and to the bottom and press it in to my plate. Try not to move it around too much so that you don't leave any E6000 marks, and then do the same to the top. Now on this plate, there's also a circle in the middle that will help you figure out how to get this nice and straight. 
and you're gonna go ahead and let this dry really well before decorating. To decorate, I did use one of the Target wreaths. That one is $3 and I'm obsessed with it, but you can skip this and just use the picks that you see in the background or anything that you want if you wanna keep it all Dollar Tree. I'm also gonna go ahead and add the same ornaments that I used for the wreath. And basically, I'm just gonna be playing with placement. You don't have to use this for this. You can also just add little candy canes or anything that you want. I went ahead and used some of my leftover ornaments and just placed them all over my tray. I also think that this style tray would look really good for a coffee bar. So adding things like stir sticks or little candy canes would look so cute. I decided to take the berries that were on the pick that I was originally going to add and cut them down to individual little pieces just to add little bits of red so that everything kind of goes together. This is why I'm saying you can skip the target wreath and just use the picks. So I'm just going to keep messing around and seeing where I want all of the berries. And once everything is covered, bam, I have a beautiful two-tiered Christmas display tray. For my favorite DIY, I'm gonna be using three coasters from Dollar Tree. And the back side has this nice cork, which is great so that you don't scrape up anything and they're nice and heavy. However, you can use double coasters if you want it to be even heavier. Now for the hooks, you can use this three pack of hooks and glue them on, which would save you a little bit of money. You can use these command hooks, which would fit a little better because they're nice and square up top. But I decided to use these over the door hooks. I've found these in different sections of the store. Sometimes they're by the cash register and sometimes they're by the picture frames. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that little part back here. Now this honestly came off with no issue. I don't even think I really need a tool to do this because once I clipped it, it flew right off. For the other one, I clipped a little piece and I just bent it forward and it came off with no issue. So if you just wanted to try bending it with your hand, I'm pretty sure you can take it off with no problem. So now I went ahead and removed the stickers on all of them so that they stick a little bit better to my coasters. I'm gonna turn over my coasters to add the hooks, and I'm gonna be adding the hooks using E6000. And this is really easy, you're just gonna add a generous amount to this side and press it directly into the center, and you want to make sure that this part is pointing outward. In other words, it's pointing towards you so that it can hang off of your mantle. By the way, if you don't like how long the hooks are, you can always cut them down shorter. I wanted them a little long so that I can actually fit gifts into the stockings without covering up my design. I'm gonna let this dry really well overnight. And once it's ready for paint, I'm gonna use Blossom White from Rust-Oleum. And to make my life easier, I just set this on the side of a box so that I can paint the top and the hooks without painting the cork on the bottom. So once everything is completely dry, these are the ornaments that I'm gonna be using, which are the ornaments that I've used for the entire tutorial. And I'm gonna be using this little ornament from Dollar Tree, which is a cute little sleigh. To attach my ornaments, I used hot glue, but you can of course use E6000. I kind of wanted to give myself the option of being able to remove them in case I changed my mind or wanted to change the theme. Make sure that before you add your glue, you're checking the placement to make sure you like where they're going to be sitting. Since this is hot glue, you can always just pull it off, but you don't want to ruin the paint in the bottom, so make sure you check your placement. So once everything is glued into place, Bam, I have beautiful and functional stocking holders. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you all so much, and thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.